Hello, this is Carrie again, and I have another video review for you today. Um, before we start, I want to thank everybody for being so understanding and so helpful and just so just understanding during the whole time that I've been sick. I think it's been four weeks I've been sick, and I'm not 100%, but I think I can do this video, <laughs> so bear with me. I just hope I don't start coughing. Um... So anyway, so the book I have for you today is called Water Life by Georgie Woolridge. And um, I did a, another video of hers. Her first book was called Birds. And I did her first book um, a, a few months ago. And I really, really enjoyed that book. So I, when, this, when I heard this was coming out, I just went and I ordered it on Amazon. Um, I just pre-ordered it sight unseen. Um, so, and I was not disappointed. So that's really good. Um, so before we start, let me go over the um the general things with you about this book first you'll see this um shiny foil on the cover uh, which i really like um there's a number of sample images so in the front and the back cover and then there's this nice little like hermes matte hermes color orange on the inside that's really nice uh the other thing is there's more sample images here so i really like the option of having all these different sample images so that you can see like basically what's going on um so um this book comes it, it retails for um $15.99 um i definitely paid less on amazon but i can't remember what exactly i paid when i pre-ordered there's no um you know i love having a um a, sw a swatch page like a blank page made of the same material as the actual coloring pages but there isn't one in this book so what's here is just the hold on let me see if i can zoom out here so you can see the actual the the top of the page it is it is fairly large it's actually a bit big for me to fit in the tripod entirely when it's fully extended um so may not show everything exactly um but i will try my best to show you as much as possible um inside there's a little um i guess um article by the by the artist which i did not read i'm sorry about that um i should have read it but i didn't read it because i'm a terrible person um inside the same as the previous book the there's one side that has this um the image and um the other side tells you what the animal is so you know what you're what you're getting into every now and again we get books and we don't really know what the animal is so this is a green sea turtle and I've seen a, a few people do this on Instagram and Facebook and do a really, really good job. So that's pretty amazing. Um, I'll try to get all the names in as I'm turning the pages and showing you uh, Bottlenose Dolphin. And not only do you get the name of the animal, you also get like a little description um, so you can see a little bit um, about the animal but it's also really nice that you get the animal because then you can go online and um, get pictures of the animal and then decide how photorealistic you want it to be or not um so that's really cool and i always like that because i like looking at what the animal really looks like and then deciding how you know how realistic i want it to be um or if i don't want it to be realistic at all um so we're just showing you what the what the animals are before i show you the the full page um and it's really nice that that there's this here so you can see um, all these different and I think one of the things that's a little bit different about this one versus the other one is her first book was just the bird and this book has a little bit more um, background stuff so this one has the um, spotted eagle ray for example is the actual spotted eagle ray and then um, some other accompanying fishes um, or fish rather since there's only one kind of fish here so this would be fish um, the other one here is um you know they'll have some more background stuff than was in the first book um but let me see if i can try to get it all in here for you and this is one that i did um and we'll go back to this one i talk about the um the media test that i usually do for my reviews um and i'll show you the media that i used on here um so this is the dugong uh let me try to see so i don't get um so i don't go too slowly so you guys can see the whole thing here um as well as what animal it is 
Emperor Angel Fish. Um, I'm trying not to read so much of the of of uh, every single name because I don't want to talk too much because then I'll start coughing and, and you guys don't want that. Um, but this is a really really fun book and I really like this book. I like uh, one of the things I really like and we'll see this when we do the medium test is that it takes watercolor pencil and watercolor really nicely. Um, and that's really fun um, and not something that you see in a lot of books. And because it is, um, it's not really truly one-sided, but it kind of is because there's only one side that you actually color. The other side is just information about the, the following image. Um, that's really nice because then you can, um, you know, you can use um, heavier mediums and you don't have to worry about whether or not it's going to bleed through. Although this is really nice thick paper, so there's not really... Um, I haven't really seen um, bleed through yet, but I haven't done the Copic test and the um, Tombow test. Um, that I will do um, once we get through all the different images of all the different... Um, and it's mostly fish here. Like, it's all sorts of water life. So there's some mammals. And um, I think there might be some reptiles in here. Uh, the paper is so thick that oftentimes you turn it and you think it's two pages, but it's not. It's only one page. So that's really nice that it has that nice um, thick paper here. I'm trying to speed this up for you so you can see um, everything without me going too slowly. Because I, yeah, I know you guys have things to do. <laughs> Um, but you still want to see all the images. And I think this that this page was not in the first one. I'm not certain, but I think that this was not in the first one where it tells you in the back sheet all the different animals all in one page. So, and then the back has the copyright page in the back, which um, is not something that I see all the time. So, um, let me get, this is a green tombow i'm just gonna tombow is a water-based marker so that's why i chose to do tombow and my um forlorn copic which we've discussed before needs to have the ink replaced um on the copic but anyway so we'll turn this over and we'll see what it looks like on the other side the other side i don't see any bleeding on the tombow but there is some bleeding on the copic uh, but the copic really does bleed all the time so that's just kind of what the copics do but if you have tombow markers or other water-based markers um this should be fine that's actually really good i don't see any bleed through there all right so then let me talk to you about the one that i did Oh, let me see. Okay, here it is. So this one I did with, so this is color pencil here, um, watercolor pencil. Um, I'm sorry. So this is color pencil, color pencil. Um, this section here is all watercolor pencil. And then this is um, something I did with some water, uh, actual artist watercolor inks, like watercolor paints. So the ones that come in half pans. And if you see on the other side, there's a little bit of bleed through um, from some of the artist watercolor paints, but there's none for the watercolor pencil and there's no real buckling on the watercolor pencil. So the watercolor pencil performed really, really nicely. Um, you may get some bleed through on the artist's watercolor paints if you lay them down um, too heavy, but overall I was really happy with this and you can see the black watercolor, uh, the black, which is a regular polychromos. Um, and the blue, I think, is also regular polychromos. But the the orange, this side, is all watercolor pencil. And then this side is watercolor paints. Um, so that was a lot of fun. So thank you guys so much for staying with me. And um, I will see you next time. Um, until I'm uh, I'm better, I'm probably only going to do... I'm only going to do one video a week. So I will see you guys hopefully in a week. Um, Thank you guys again so much for being so supportive and for being so understanding and have a great day. And I hope you guys like um, this review. All right. Bye.